You're walking towards the ocean now, and you notice the sand under your feet gets firmer because it's saturated with seawater. And you get to the shore where the ocean meets the sand, and you see little waves coming up and down, up and down. As the waves come and go, you see some things in the sand like shells, pieces of seaweed, your own footprints, and you see a little piece of driftwood that's the perfect size for riding in the sand with. Pick up this driftwood, now draw your name into the sand where it's moist. Write out each letter, noticing the sound that it makes as you scratch it through the sand. Good. Now step back and look at your name. As you see your beautiful name, you notice a little wave coming closer. This wave catches part of your name and washes it away as it goes back out into the ocean. And then another wave comes and washes your name away even more. And another comes and washes it away. And another. Until all you can see is ripples in the sand where your name used to be. That's good. Now continue walking along your beach, noticing the surroundings. What kind of sounds do you hear? Can you hear sea birds flying over? Or is the wind gently blowing? Can you feel the warm sun on your skin? How does the sand feel under your feet again? It's nice, right? Maybe you can even smell the smells of the ocean. Just be at your beach today. Now, as you've walked, you've learned a lot about how beautiful this beach is, and you're ready for a little rest. So find a comfortable place to sit, wherever you like on the beach. A chair could be waiting for you, just the kind you like. So go ahead and take a seat. Take a seat and look out into the ocean. Watch the horizon and how the ocean meets the sky. This is the most beautiful scene you've ever witnessed. As you gaze out along the big blue, you listen very closely to what I have to tell you because it's very important to your overall well-being. We all deserve to be financially abundant. You want to be financially independent by doing exactly what you want. All you have to do is change your beliefs about money. Think about some common beliefs about money that people have. Like, how much money do we think we deserve? or don't deserve, or how hard do we have to work for it? It's true that we have to put in action towards our goals, and if those actions are backed by excitement and happiness, then achieving our goals does not have to be hard at all.